So in this problem, we are given a block which is on a frictionless surface, and this block is then given an initial velocity v0. The block then travels, and as it travels, it gets into this valley, which is also frictionless, then goes up here, which is to another surface, which is at a height h0 above the original one, and on the upper surface, the surface happens to be rough, in other words, there is friction, and we are given the coefficient of kinetic friction. Now, eventually, the block stops somewhere here, at the distance d. So the question is, what is the value of d? If we know the initial velocity, the height h, and the coefficient of kinetic friction. Um, well, clearly this question is on energy. And let's first decide what is our system. Let's say that the system is the block plus the earth. And now let's ask ourselves, is the system isolated or not isolated? When the block is moving on a frictionless surface, the system is isolated because there are no external forces acting on it. But once the block gets here, the system becomes non-isolated because there is a friction force acting on it, which is not part of the system. So the friction force, when the block is there, becomes an external to it. And because the system is not isolated, the total energy of this system is not conserved. In fact, if we say that this is our initial state, and this is our final state, to get from initial state to final state, in terms of energy, we have an external force which does work. So mathematically, this means that the total energy final is equal to the total energy initial plus the work done by the external force of friction. This is the work done by the force of friction, which happens to be external to the system that we have chosen. So what is our total energy final? The total energy final consists, well, when we say total energy here, we mean total mechanical energy. To be specific, this is total mechanical energy and this is also total mechanical energy. So total mechanical energy final is equal to kinetic energy final plus potential energy final. Total energy initial is equal to kinetic energy initial plus potential energy initial plus the work done by the force of friction. In the final state, the block comes to rest, which means that it has no velocity and therefore kinetic energy happens to be zero. In the initial state, kinetic energy of the system is equal to mv zero square over two. What about potential energy? Now, potential energy, as you know, is relative, so we have to choose a level which we take as zero, and from, uh, from, the, uh, from the point of view of making the problem easy, it would be better if we choose this level as a zero level for potential energy. In that case, initial potential energy of the system is equal to zero. The final potential energy, it's above the initial level by h0, is equal to mgh0. And finally, the work done by the force of friction. Now let's look at the block here. When the block is traveling this way, the force of friction is acting on it in the opposite direction. So in other words, this displacement is opposite to the force of friction, right? And therefore, 
the work done by the force of friction, which is equal to the force of friction dot displacement. And remember, the displacement vector, well, this is d as a distance, but the displacement vector will be from here to here. These two vectors are opposite, so this is equal to minus f f d. Now, how do we find the force of friction? Well, the force of friction is related to the coefficient of kinetic friction and the normal. Coefficient of kinetic friction times, and instead of n, we can just say mg, because in the vertical direction, normal and mg balance each other. So we can now substitute it in here. So we have minus mu k and g d. So now we are ready to calculate for distance d. Well, first of all, let's cancel out mass. So then d is equal to uh, v0 squared over 2 mu k g minus h0 over mu k. Now if you substitute for the numbers, the value that you get is 5.32 meters. Remember that in the problem we are given the initial velocity, the coefficient of kinetic friction, and h0, and we know the free fall acceleration, so we can calculate for d. So the answer is 5.32 meters.